you are never alone. Life is full of many challenges, and sometimes these challenges may be overwhelming and even cause us to throw in the towel. This is because most times when we are in the midst of the most challenging times in our lives, we may be left with few at our side or even no one by our side. And that is painful. It's one thing going through a pain experience with someone, but it's another to go through it alone. When you go through a painful experience with someone, you at least have someone to share the load with, someone to empathize with, and someone to feel your pain. Someone who knows and understands the pain behind every tear you cry. However, if you are alone, everything becomes more painful. The only thing worse than this is if the people who you have been regarding as close friends forsake us during these times. The same thing happened to Jesus Christ when he was about to face trial and be crucified. John 16 verse 33 Indeed, the hour is coming. Yes, has now come, that you will be scattered, each to his own, and will leave me alone. And yet I am not alone, because the Father is with me. What Jesus Christ had predicted really happened to him. But the good news is that it didn't affect him, because he was already prepared for it. He knew what human beings are. In the next verse, Jesus Christ told them this. John 16 verse 33 these things I have spoken to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. The best part of Christianity, and more so following Jesus Christ, is that you are guaranteed that you are not alone in every situation that you pass through. I don't know the pain you are going through today. I don't know what stage of life you are in right now. I don't know who has left you. I don't know who has forgotten you. I don't know who hasn't loved even though they were supposed to love you. I don't know who has betrayed you. I don't know any of this, but there is one thing I do know. Something I have in common with you. And that is, we have a Saviour, we have a Lord in our lives, who has promised you, and he has promised me, he will never leave you nor forsake. Stop reading the Bible as if it is an old novel written for the people thousands of years ago, for God himself has said to you, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Paul knew this. Everyone had left him. Second Timothy 4 verse 16 At my first defense no one stood with me, but all forsook me. May it not be charged against them. But the Lord stood with me and strengthened me. The Lord stood with him. Jesus Christ has provided us a helper who will stand by us even though people around may forsake us. Jesus Christ promised not to leave us as orphans, but to give us the help and the guidance of the Holy Spirit. John 14 verse 15 to 18 If you love me, keep my commandments, and I will pray the Father and he will give you another helper, that he may abide with you forever. The Spirit of Truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it neither sees him nor knows him, but you know him, for he dwells with you and will be in you. I will not leave you orphans. 
I will come to you. One of the greatest present help for believers is the present power of the Holy Spirit. It should also be known the Holy Spirit is not just a spirit but a person and part of the Trinity of God. The Holy Spirit has emotions and feels for us. He can be grieved which also means that he can be pleased. And do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God by whom you were sealed for the day of redemption. Ephesians 4 verse 30 Therefore, the Holy Spirit is also attentive to all that we are passing through. Believers in Jesus Christ are never alone. There is a helper who is waiting to be invited to our lives. The Amplified Version of the Bible refers to the Holy Spirit as Counselor, Helper, Advocate, Intercessor, Strengthener and Standby. If we keenly analyze the definitions of the words I have stated, it means that when we find ourselves in trouble, we are not alone because the Holy Spirit is ready to counsel us on the right way that we should go. The counsel of the Holy Spirit is reliable because He is wise and He knows the will of God because He is God. Look at the time Jesus Christ was praying in the Garden of Gethsemane. He was troubled until to the extent in which He sweat blood. His spirit was willing, but the flesh was weak. Jesus had to pray for the guidance and counsel of the Holy Spirit until he was strengthened. When we find that we are torn in between making decisions in life, we should ask the Holy Spirit to give us a good counsel, and he will. The Holy Spirit is our helper. When we feel as if we are alone and no human being is ready to offer help to our situations, we shouldn't fear. Instead, we should pray for the Holy Spirit to take control and help us in every situation that we are passing through in life. The Holy Spirit is our advocate. When there is no one who is willing to plead on behalf of our cases, we are assured of his presence. Just as an advocate in the law courts fights to see that his or her client has won the case, the Holy Spirit is ready to fight for us against the accusations of the evil one in our thoughts and minds and make us emerge winners in our Christian lives. Sometimes we may find ourselves in trials and temptations that we don't have the strength to pray or the knowledge on how we should pray. Here is where the Holy Spirit intercedes for us. Likewise, the Spirit also helps in our weaknesses, for we do not know what we should pray for as we ought, but the Spirit himself makes intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. Now he who searches the heart knows what the mind of the Spirit is, because he makes intercession for the saints according to the will of God. Romans 8 verse 26 and 27 When we find out that we have no strength to move on, we should acknowledge the presence of the Holy Spirit to help us by strengthening us and give us the strength to move with life. That he would grant you, according to the riches of his glory, to be strengthened with might through his spirit in the inner man. Ephesians 3 verse 16 Finally, the Holy Spirit is our standby. He is always at our service, standing by to help us when we invite him in our situation. Our work is to always invite the Holy Spirit in our situations, and he will move in quickly to assist us. Not only do we have God, who has also given us his angels to take charge of us, to always minister our needs. Although sometimes not much is spoken of the ministration of the angels, it should be known that the angels are always active behind the scenes in every step that we take in our lives. 
The angels of God are always watching over us during the day and night.